Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, you know what it's time for. It's time for more Kaiser Noah spreadsheets because we know them, we love them. You know, I do them like once a week probably at this point. I just make a stupid spreadsheet that really doesn't make sense and anyone who knows spreadsheets looks at it and goes, why did you make it like that? And realistically, I don't know the answer to that, but that's okay. Some mysteries in life are better left unsolved. But today, we're doing a different type of video. Today, I am going to completely rebalance the gear in Wizard 101 to fit what I think is a more natural progression. Now, I would like to say first off, the reason why I'm doing this is because as you may know, in the future, King's Isle has plans to do a complete gear audit. They plan on adjusting, changing, and rebalancing all of the gear to better fit what their idea of the game is. If you remember, they had a spell audit about a year ago. It's going to be on a similar scale of that. My guess is that nothing is going to be completely untouched. Now, obviously that affects me directly. I am a player and you know i play through the game as the title player entails man i'm really stupid today and obviously this gear audit i want to make sure it's as good as possible as close to what i think is good as possible so what i did today is i decided to rebalance it based on specific levels and gear sets now let's get into it first off i want to say this is based on damage since that is objectively probably the most important stat in this game obviously it's good to focus on different things certain stats make more sense but no matter what school you are you need damage unless you were purely healing purely tanking you need some damage and even then there's going to be instances where you want damage on every single school so i focus purely on damage now there's a few reasons for that First off, I personally think that resist is in a really good place right now. Maybe at the higher levels, it's slightly too low, I would say. But realistically, for most schools, I think resist is pretty well balanced throughout the entire game. Now, I know everyone might not agree with that, but that's just my personal opinion. I think resist is really, really good on most gear. In terms of the other stats, it would just be simply that I don't have much to say beyond what is already obvious. You shouldn't be able to max out things such as accuracy and power pip within the first 100 levels. And after that, realistically, it's probably fine that you can max them out. Maybe you shouldn't be able to max them out as easily as you can, but I think it's at least fair where it is now. So I decided not to touch them. So ultimately that left me with damage. And I figured that that's good anyway, because the stat most people like is damage. The second is, as I made a lot of this based on the enemy's health. So we're gonna run into a problem later on and you'll see and I'll talk about it but basically I adjusted the damage based on what I think was apt for the enemy's health around that level so obviously you know it's just based on that and the reason why I didn't add in a theme or ring it's just hat robes and boots is the fact that rings and athames realistically on every school are pretty much the same so it wouldn't actually do anything stat wise in comparison and I do genuinely think a lot of the rings and athames are fairly balanced as is maybe some of them could be adjusted a little bit but i think they're at least fine so there's no reason to really add those directly to the list pets aren't included in this because obviously that would make the stats way too weird and way too inflated because everyone has a different pet now one thing i'd like to say and one thing i'd like to preface this video by is that i base most of these balances around my thoughts that certain schools should be more apt to hitting so you can see here this is the exact list that i went for storm is more than fire is more than myth is more than balance which is around equal to what death should be is better than life is better than ice the reason why i did this is because I think balance should be that middle of the road, but I don't feel comfortable putting death lower than balance, so they're about equal. Whereas storm, fire, myth, higher, life, ice, lower. So without further ado, enough of the introduction. Let's get into the actual video itself, starting with the level 30 gear. So this is Mount Olympus. The average boss at this level and the average mob, average boss is around 2,000, average mob around 800. This rings true for most cases around level 30. You're gonna be in Marleybone slash Mushu at this point. So that makes sense and while this isn't true for every set of gear i actually thought that this one could do with a little bit of nerfing so there's a reason for that before everyone complains first off and the biggest thing here is I think that there should be another set of gear between the Zeus gear and the Waterworks gear. The reason for that is, is I think 30 levels is too long to go without getting a new gear set. So I think that we actually need a new set of gear in between them. So I added one at level 45. So that made these stats a little bit lower, obviously not much lower. In fact, you can see barely any of them have changed, but to kind of put it into perspective, the original, and this is counting hat, robe and boots and sky 
iron has to, so 10%. We have 37 for fire, 27 for ice, 44 for storm, 33 for life, 37 for myth, 34 for death, and 33 for balance. So you can see following my general rule, how I did it was storm is the most at 40, fire next at 35, myth next at 33, followed by death and balance both at 30, life at 28, and ice at 25. While this did lower all the stats a little bit, I actually technically made the gear stronger. Now you may be asking what I mean by that. Well, basically the main thing I actually did at level 30 was I said to nerf the Skyron Hasta. I think the Skyron Hasta at 10% is way too strong it should be nerfed to around five percent so you can see i kind of nerfed it by five percent and then kind of adjusted the stats from there and that's how i made this gear set i think this would be fairly balanced nothing is too weak especially at this level like 40 damage for storm is actually quite a bit at level 30 like there's really there isn't too much struggle here but i just tried to make it so that it's not too strong and i do actually genuinely think the zeus gear is a little bit too strong for level 30. the zeus gear is what i'd expect a level 40 gear set to look like or maybe even a level 45 five gear set to look like but it is a level 30 gear set so i kind of tried to adjust it and bring it slightly downward next is this new gear set now this new gear set in quotes actually isn't really a new gear set what i personally think they should do is they should just up barkingham palace gear up by five levels just to make it naturally in the middle but how i kind of changed this is i made it quite a bit stronger for two reasons one this is supposed to be halfway between zeus gear and waterworks in this gear set and the fact that barkingham palace gear is actually just naturally underpowered for some schools it's actually incredibly unbalanced for some reason fire is really weak all of them are really unnatural and you can see that so storm has 51 fire 42 life 46 myth 44 46 46 balance death and finally ice at 34 for some reason fire and myth are pretty low there and it just looks really weird when you think about it and obviously this is all factoring in with the sky and hasta so what i did was i upped this all since this would be at around 45 so post dragon spire pre winter tusk celestia so it's like the perfect time to get a new gear set and you can see i accounted for winter tusk and Celestia's up difficulty. The average boss in Celestia is about 3,500. Average in Winter Tusk is 6,500. And the average mob for both is probably around 1,200. So I kind of tried to reflect that. So you can see I made Storm the most at 60, followed by Fire at 55, Myth at 52, 54 Death and Balance, 45 for Life, and 40 for Ice. Now I would like to say, and something you'll notice, is I'm actually giving Ice a little bit of love here because I personally think Ice has way too low damage throughout this entire game. A lot of their gear sets are severely underpowered and i know that ice is supposed to be weak but not that weak compared to most schools and you can see this only gets worse as time goes on so i did try to up this to put it into perspective this right here 40 for ice is about equal to Malastare gear. So you can kind of see where I'm coming from where I say it's way too weak. And this is kind of what I would say is the middle of the road between Zeus gear and Waterworks. So let me know what you think about that. Do you think this is an interesting idea? Do you think that this would be a cool addition? But otherwise, let's move on to Waterworks. So at level 60, the average boss is going to be around 7,000 and the average mob around 2,000. Now, obviously that's very loose, depends on where you are. So basically what I thought here is I kind of just adjusted it around what I think the changes should be, where certain schools felt a little bit weirdly strong with the waterworks and some felt not strong enough. So what I did was, is I put Storm at a solid 75. And another reason why that this isn't as powerful for some of them is that I also think it's important to introduce a level 80 gear because between 60 and 100, that's way too long of a gap. Like this is even worse than 30 to 60. So I think they should introduce some level 80 gear. So what I did was, is I took these and slightly adjusted them based on what I thought would be fine. And it's actually not that different for some of them so like storm only goes down by two damage from 77 to 75 life goes from 63 to 55 this is a, actually a bigger nerf because life is a bit too strong myth goes from 57 to 65 so it gets a lot stronger death and balance both go from the mid 60s to 60 flat ice actually gets a sizable buff going from 44 to 50 and fire gets a buff as well from 58 to 70 i found that fire at this level was less like it is now so it was a lot weaker in terms of damage so i tried to adjust that based Based on what I think was fair and what the ideas of the school roles are now. I don't know whether they'll do this in the gear audit, but I think that it would be incredibly fair at least. I think fire is very at least underpowered in a lot of these gear sets compared to especially storm where that flips around much later on. So I kind of changed it there. Next we have level 80. Level 80 gear would be a new dungeon, potentially maybe Atlantia. I think that would be a bit weird because then it would be Atlantia 80, Tartarus 90. So I'm 
potentially saying a new dungeon around at the end of Avalon. I think this personally is really, really needed. What this is, is this would add a stepping stone from Waterworks gear, which feels pretty underpowered in Azteca and Chrysalis, to the Malastair gear, which feels a little bit strong once you get to Chrysalis. So how they bounce this is average boss around 14,000, average mob around 2,500. For the original gear here, I have Waterworks because that's what you'd be using at this level. And this new set of gear would be an actual increase from the base base waterworks. So Storm would go from 77 to 85. Now, obviously in the previous one, I said they would have 75. So this gives like a sizable 10% increase. Fire would be next at 80, Myth at 75, followed by Death and Balance both at 65. So around what the current waterworks gear is, which by the way, I would like to say this is incredibly fair. It might not seem it because of these numbers, but realistically, this is just balancing. If you think about it, this doesn't include ring, athame, or pet. And realistically, at this level, death, balance, life can all get in the hundreds of damage. So this would stay around them having 100% damage at this level, with fire and myth getting perhaps the biggest increase here. I think one thing that I think would be re a really cool addition here is a wand such as the Sword of Kings, which is supposed to be powerful, which has slightly more damage and some other stats as well to kind of balance it out and add an interesting new wand that you would use up to post Chrysalis. This just makes sense. That's when you're supposed to use the Swords of Kings still, so that does make sense. So next we have level 100 and Malastare gear, and this is going to bring up up a problem. And that is the fact that this is based around what Chrysalis and Darkmoor should be. Now, the issue with this is, is that Polaris, Mirage, and Imperia all get significantly easier, with their final bosses having a sizable chunk of health and being more difficult than Chrysalis bosses, but none of the rest being so. What I would like to say is this is just personally my opinion. I think that they should make those worlds harder. I think Polaris is way too easy. And while I don't think necessarily going all the way up to Chrysalis level difficult, 24,000 is necessary. I think at least keeping it in the high tens of thousands up to potentially even 20,000 being the maximum would be incredibly fair for some of these worlds. So I kind of based it around that ideal and actually made a lot of the gear sets stronger. And the reason for this is, is simply, I just don't think that naturally that is what the game should be. I balance this in what I would consider to be a natural progression. And the reason why I say that, right, is because these stats look around right for level 80, at least in my opinion, right? At level 80, 80, I would normally have in the 100% of damage all the way up to potentially even 110, 120 on some characters. This would enable that and make you ever so slightly stronger, which is fine at level 80 in my opinion. At level 100, if I don't up the gear as well, it's not going to feel like there's a natural progression. And I think that this is fair. Like these stats would feel decent and around Darkmoor level. Like you would still be having slight trouble with Darkmoor in a lot of these cases and you wouldn't feel too broken. So I did up it a little bit with saying, with a caveat, Arc 3's enemy's health need to be raised a lot more. So what I did here was I took the average boss around 24,000 health and average mob at around 3,500 and based on that, gave a new Darkmoor wand in quotes that would give around 15% damage, which is fair. Storm went from 83 with Malastare to 100. Fire went from 66 to 95. Myth went from 66 to 90. Death and Balance went from 67 to 68 to around 80. Life went from 68 to 75. And Ice went from 46, which is pathetic, all the way up to 70. So I tried to keep this a bit natural. Like you can see, there's still a decent disparity between these. And I would say you could actually make the disparity a little bit more. Like you could lower Ice here to around 60. I don't think this low is natural and fair, but you could lower ice life, maybe death and balance a little bit more. But I think that this is at least fair for what the level and it's actually not even that different than the current balance. The current balance has fire and myth equal to death and balance and life, which I just don't think is fair, which is why I changed this and made it a little bit higher. And I'd say you can see some issues here, but I think this is at least fair in, in my eyes anyway. Now we're at the final level 130 year set. Now this, I would like to say, this is based around the catacombs. So what this means is, is I base this entirely on catacombs level bosses around average health of around 40,000, mob health of 3,500. Now you may be like, Noah, that doesn't make sense. That's not what it should be because obviously Lemuria and Caramel are a bit weaker. Yes, but no. I think the problem I have here is that Caramel and Lemuria felt way too easy in a lot of cases and they only had one really tough boss. And that really tough boss was 
mostly because of cheats. I think what they need to do is they need to get back in the groove of things and make the world a little bit more difficult and to compensate, make the gear ever so slightly better. Now, I would like to say, I actually didn't change these stats all that much. You can see most of these, I barely changed the numbers to. The only thing I changed was Storm, Fire, and Myth a bit just because they are hitting schools and they shouldn't be the same as the other schools. And you can see that's what the original Dragoon gear was. The original Dragoon gear, the range for it was only 21, which which means ice had the lowest damage and storm had the most and there's only a 21 range there which i thought was way too low so i upped the range to around 35 i thought that, that was much more fair and that's about what i've been keeping the range here you can see a lot of them are around 30. you can see in earlier levels it's actually smaller and then the gap gets slightly wider as time goes on and ultimately until you get here at around 35 i just think that that's fair so obviously i would say this is balanced around catacombs and for catacombs bosses these do make Makes sense but for the current bosses it just doesn't make sense so that's what my gear audit would look like now that we're coming to the end of this and you've seen my opinions let's go over what i think actually how realistic this looks and obviously you can tell me in the comments below what you think about my list do you think that they're unbalanced or whatever i know that definitely this seems a little bit unbalanced for the current climate but that's simply because i think i balance it around catacombs which is what i think the current bosses should be rather than the current lemuria bosses so how realistic is this well personally i think that a lot of these gear sets in the gear audit they're not going to look to nerf them at least in my eyes especially the earlier gear sets like zeus gear i I highly doubt they're going to nerf that much. I highly doubt they're going to nerf waterworks all that much. In, in fact, they might even buff waterworks in some cases. I doubt that they're really going to add a level 80 set and Malastare probably won't see too many changes, maybe made ever so slightly weaker. Like it's probably going to stay the same, just numbers going to be changed here and there. I personally don't think my list is that necessarily that realistic to what would happen, but that doesn't mean it's not what I don't want to see. I personally think that this would be really balanced, especially if they made their game balanced around it. Like these numbers right here, there would be no need for a damage cap because of the fact that they would up the bosses to be around what catacombs level should be. This would make boss fights actually seem more interesting and actually pretty engaging, at least in my eyes. But that's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this is balanced? Do you think this is unbalanced? This is just personally my opinion. Obviously, everyone has an opinion. You could think I'm completely wrong and actually a lot of these should be nerfed. That's incredibly fair and I accept your opinion. I think that that's an incredibly fair viewpoint to have. This is just personally what I think based on the game, what it should be balanced around. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.